So now that we've essentially solved our problem by dividing it into two subproblems and then addressing each one of those and their details, now we could move on to implementing it in code. But before we do that, it's good practice to actually have the algorithm laid down in front of you and that will actually help you and guide you in writing the actual code. So let's see what we have here. The first thing I do is that I set a variable called number to zero. And this will in fact hold the result that we're going to be passing back or returning from our function. Then the, the other thing that I do right here is I check if the first character of my string is a dash or negative. And if it is, then I set my negative flag to true, like we said in our algorithm. And then I go on to basically applying Horner's rule. And this essentially what I'm doing here for every character of the string, excluding the dash if there was one, what I'm going to do is basically apply Horner's rule. I will multiply whatever number I have in store by 10 and then move on to the next digit. Remember that algorithm that I described? You move on to the next digit and you add it to the number. So you add that digit to the number which is the character itself. Well you have to find its representation as a numeric value and the way to, the way to do this we said is to subtract it by the character 0. And this will be translated into a numeric value of the character. And then finally in the end once we've been through all the characters in the string we return the number uh, which is the result of the method. And of course that number will have to be multiplied by minus 1 if the flag is true here. So this is our algorithm and it's going to guide us in writing the code. So all you have to do right now is just take your algorithm and put it in code. So this is our method signature that was specified to us. We're being passed a string and we're doing some initializations right here. Um, I is being used, this variable is being used to go over every single character in a string. So we're going to be looking at every single character in a string, each one of which is a digit or a negative, a dash. Um, then this will hold our result that we're going to be passing back. This is the integer result of our converting method. Um, this boolean flag will essentially tell us whether or not we have a negative number. So we set it to false at the beginning and then we're going to be scanning the first character and based on what it is we're going to be able to set it to true or keep it false. And then here what I'm doing is I'm taking my string and converting it to a bunch of characters, so an array of characters, and I'm storing it in string array. This is because I will be examining the string character by character. And so this will allow me to do that. Then what I'm storing here is the length of the string and this will dictate for how long I'll be going with my iteration of or every single character in a string and we'll see how we're going to be using that length so like I said the first step in our algorithm is to check if the number is negative and to do that I will examine the first character in my string and you notice I'm using the string array here so it's an array of characters I examine it and I ask the question is it equal to a dash if it is then I set negative true and I increment i, so I skip that first character. I've already processed it, and then I could go to the next one and start my Horner's rule uh, algorithm. If it's not, then I'm just going to skip over this part and go on, and i will remain zero. So we're starting at the beginning where it's not a dash; it's going to be a digit. And this is where we, this is where most of the logic is happening. We are computing the number by using the Horner's rule we talked about. So I am using the length to dictate where I stop. I take my i from wherever it was, either 1 or 0, and I go till the end of the string. So I'm going to examine every single character in a string, every single digit in a string. And like we said, the first thing we do is we multiply the number that we already have in store. So our number is going to be here. First, it's going to be set to 0. Multiply it by 10, and 0 times 10 remains 0. And then what I do next is I add to that number the numeric value of the character that happens to be placed at i. So if i is 0, I'm going to be examining that particular character, which I get using this uh, this, uh, this this line right here. I get that character, sub subtract the 0 from it, or the, the character code equivalent of 0, and then I'm going to get my numeric or digital uh, or digit value of that character. And what I do is I add it to number, so I add it right here, and then I increment i. If i is still less than length, that means I have more characters to process, then I essentially keep on going with my Horner's rule. I multiply whatever number will be at. So for example, if this was 9, 
we're going to have a 9 here. I multiply that by 10, so I'll get a 90. And then I move on to adding that number, or its equivalent, to the result to number, and keep on doing this until we reach the very end. At this point, we know, once we've been through this loop, we know that we have our result. And all we have to do is, in case it was a negative number, so I examine my flag if it was negative, then all I'm going to do is multiply my number result by minus 1, and return that number as the integer equivalent of the string that was passed to us.